Uh, very, very popular question, very, very easy to go wrong. Again, the concept is the key here. Uh, I won't be explaining the basic concepts at the moment. I'll definitely explain whatever is required for this question. But as I said, I will try to put up my uh, theory sessions as well in the channel. So you can kind of watch that as well. Let's look at this question number 38 on which radial from a VOR at 61 North 25 East variation 13 degrees East is an aircraft at 59 North 25 East variation 20 degrees East. So you have an aircraft and a VOR. You're asked to find out what radial is the aircraft on. Simple, right? Let's draw a figure. Let's draw the location of VOR 61 North and 25 East. So basically both you can see VOR and the aircraft are in the Northern Hemisphere and they have uh, they have uh, the same meridian. The longitude values are same and hence they are on the same uh, meridian. Let's draw a meridian of 25 degrees East and let's draw the parallels of latitude 61 North and 59 uh, North here. So Northern Hemisphere 61 North and therefore 59 north is obviously south of it 59 yes and we have 25 east meridian this is the longitude of the meridian perfect let's locate the VOR first VOR is on 25 the 61 north and 25 east be very very careful when you mark the points to not go other way around and that goes for your initial chapters of general navigation as well so 61 north 25 east is basically over here 61 north and 25 east is the intersection right here where we have the VOR perfect so this is the VOR the location is 61 north 25 east perfect now let's locate the aircraft aircraft is on 59 north and again the same uh, meridian and therefore let's locate the aircraft well um, let me let me choose any any random heading here so let me put the heading like this uh -oh. yeah this is the aircraft you can you can make your own heading that's fine uh, as long as the aircraft is on 59 north and 25 east that should be fine let's write down the variations as well variation 13 degrees east and 20 degrees east that's given the question let's keep it there for the moment now we're asked to find out on what radial is the aircraft on it's pretty simple right you can see the the radial that is there is always a magnetic track from the uh, from the viewer so let's write that down here so radial so the basic definition of radial has to be understood here point number one it is the magnetic and not true that's what it means it's a magnetic track now another point to understand here is it's always from the viewer very 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 important right the magnetic track from the viewer right so you can see here uh, you're asked to find out the radial of the aircraft so basically the aircraft is on a radial that is coming from the viewer toward the aircraft this is the radial on which the aircraft is on and from the primary looks of it uh, it looks like a 90 degree uh, sorry 180 degree uh, radial from the VOR right 180 degree but think about it this is where the way you go wrong because if you go back to the options this option is is not actually put in the appropriate way I would have probably added uh, let me add for that matter let me write one more option here which is 180 degree so you can see here the aircraft from the figure is on the 180 degree uh, line that is coming from the from the VOR it is certainly through a meridian you track down south is 180 right and for that matter you can probably jump in and mark option E which is 180 degree but one thing you have to remember is that whatever you draw on the paper on the chart on the globe so all these latitude longitudes all these are in true with respect to the actual uh, earth the actual geographic poles and therefore they are they are true so whatever you draw on the chart map globe are the actual locations and that's more to do with the true values but what the radial that comes out of the VOR is not true and as we have rightly marked here it is more like magnetic which means when you find out the radial you have to find out it with the variation basically you have to find out that in magnetic so what I have 
uh, conclude as 180 degrees here is 180 degree from the viewer on this paper and for that reason it's going to be 180 degrees true therefore if i want to find the radial i have to apply variation now this is the first part which you have to understand uh, what you find out from a chart global all all true values and you have to apply variation to get the corresponding uh, track in magnetic value right that is what is required because radials are magnetic track from a view or not true tracks so let me find out what is the magnetic value corresponding to 180 degrees of true track and for that what i need is variation and you can see here lavishly you have two different variations here the variation of the vor is given in the corresponding brackets over here which is 13 degrees east so let me write it down variation of the vor is equal to 13 degrees east and variation of the aircraft is given as 20 degrees east so variation of the aircraft is 20 degrees east, easterly variation, you know, magnetic north is east of true north, all those basic things, you know, for so easterly variation. Which variation will you use? Now, it's a very good time to think about NDB and ADF systems as well as, as well here. And I'll definitely come up with a different question on that. I probably should have brought that question along with this. Let me try if I can sequence it immediately after this, a question from NDB. Uh, so here we have two different variations. The question is which variation should I take now? Now let me make it very simple here. I'm not trying to explain a lot about it. Uh, the variation in such scenarios is always taken at the VOR. And the reason for that is uh, on which radial would the aircraft be on is determined at the VOR station itself using the phase differences between uh, the reference signal and the variable signal. What the aircraft receiver does is just measuring that phase difference. That's all. The phase difference is actually constructed right at the VOR station on the ground. And for that reason, if you choose a VOR from the radial, and if you choose the variation from the aircraft, now you're using the radial from one point and air variation at a different point, and that's gonna clash. Therefore, in case of VOR systems, variation at the VOR, so it's V for V, right? So variation at the VOR station, and that is 13 degrees east, so eight, 180 degrees true, 30 degrees east variation, the famous mnemonics east is magnetic is least and therefore it's 180 minus 13 and that's 167 degrees magnetic. Let's look at the option here. You have it straight away, delta 167. Let's see what happens if you take the variation at the, at the aircraft here. I'm not writing it down, uh, but if I use 20 degrees of variation here, the answer is gonna be 180 minus 20 which is 160 and look at the options here that is alternate alpha and that's a quick bait for you because you see what you get 160 you see option alpha 160 you go bang wrong so two different things to understand here one you have to apply variation because whatever you get from the chart is true and what you need is a radial which is magnetic second point uh, to make it magnetic you have to apply variation and for a vor based system the variation is always at the vor v for v Right? In case of an NDB ADF system, the, the phase comparison is basically done at the ADF antenna which is there on the aircraft and for that reason, in case of those systems, we use the variation at the aircraft or basically at the ADF antenna.